The kitchen is a bar and bistro shaking up drinks and flavors from around the world. Yeah, here in our Studio 41 kitchen to teach us how to recreate one of their signature dishes is Senior Director of Beverage and Culinary, Michael Bertozzi. Thank Morning, you so much for being yum, here. Yum, yum. Yeah, this sounds fabulous. It's really good. Okay. It's a winner. It's definitely one of those ones, a little bit light, but it's filling. You know, you could eat it for lunch, breakfast. Brunch, we open for brunch on February 5th. This will oh, be on the yeah, menu. You can yeah. also get it at dinner right now. And so, I feel like Valentine's Day coming up. It's also be even better the second day. It is, it is. So, we always recommend if you're going to make fried rice, cook the rice the night ahead. Okay. okay. So, let it sit in the refrigerator, let it dry out. That's how you make really good fried rice. The what? grains won't stick together. The biggest key is rinse your rice before. Okay. You cook it. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I'm a little worried. There's a lot of smoke coming up. Oh, sorry. That's just the bottom of the pan. Okay. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right. So what's the first step in making right, this so fried rice? So we're going to get our rice. egg going first because that's going to take the longest. And okay. then we're going to add some neutral oil to both pans. Oh, you got two pans there. Oh, okay. yeah. One okay. for the egg and one for the rice. Okay. You said neutral oil? Yeah. So like a grapeseed oil, oh, an avocado. Okay. You don't okay. want to do anything like... I don't cook with uh, olive oil because it's one that has a lower flash point. It tends to burn really quick. So your oh. neutral oils like grapeseed, canola, they have a higher flash point. Okay. And they won't burn as quick. They don't get that flavor. Like you notice if you cook with olive oil, yeah. it can get that kind of like burnt grassy flavor. Yeah. 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 So okay. uh, stick to a neutral oil. And We're this is add just our regular rice in. We've, white we have rice. We've got a cup of rice, or a little bit over a cup of rice. And is like that just plain white rice? rice? Yeah. yeah. Just okay. long grain rice. Okay. So we've got our blue crab we're going to add in. What and we kind of al alternate between crabs based on season. So we'll use Dungeness during the spring. Mm. We'll use blue crab right now. Okay. Um, and, and this even, is something you can obviously get from the soup food counter. Absolutely, yeah. You can go to Whole Foods and pick up some you know, crab is easily. It, is it bad if you use canned? Yeah. You it's can bad? Can. No, can. it's not oh, bad. Oh, okay. It's, okay. Okay. it's one of the things. If you're you using can. a pasteurized canned crab, it doesn't have that sweetness, but it obviously it's going to last a little bit longer. Okay, yeah. So, okay. And then we're going to add in our Thai lime nam jim. So this is a mix of lime juice, fish sauce, uh, tamari soy, so it is gluten free. Okay. A okay. little bit of ginger, garlic, Thai chilies, mm -hmm. and green onion. Oh, I love Thai chilies. So we just want to add that into our pan, kind of toss our rice together. And we notice like the grains don't stick together even once we like add in the sauce. Oh. Really, you know, stays light and fluffy. How high of a heat? Because I always worry about the rice sticking to the pan. Uh, I've got it on a medium heat. Okay. And I typically use like a non-stick or a pan that, you know, you're not worried about it. If it does stick, okay. it's going to be okay. Okay. So. Oh, okay. And then your egg. And if you, you have, have gas pan, burners you? at your house, the higher the heat for fried rice, almost the better. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cook it on a gas, on a like flat range like this, on a glass range. It's not bad. You just have to get that heat just right. You notice it started smoking a little bit underneath yeah. mm -hmm. the pan. So. All right, so we've got our rice all cooked up right there. That smells good. Put that in the well of our bowl. Those are pretty bowls, too. <laughs> Thank you. These are actually made by a company in North Carolina called Hand. I actually went to high school with the guys that make these. Interesting. Yeah, oh, okay, fantastic. So. And the egg, you just let it do its thing. Yes, we're just going to let our egg basically go sunny side up. It's going to be a little bit crispy around the edges. Mm -hmm. So. That's all right, because we just want that yolk to kind of like cook down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sunny side up egg, then some crushed peanuts over top. Ooh. Crushed <laughs> up some peanuts. Can't go wrong, right? No. A little micro cilantro. What's micro cilantro? So it's just basically when the cilantro starts to grow, it kind of shoots up and it makes the buds. It has a really intense flavor. So, a little bit prettier garnish. Oh, nice. Okay. And then a little cracked black pepper. Oh, and we have our. That was simple. That crab was great. Product. Okay, so you said this is going to be on your brunch menu coming up? Yes, it will be on the brunch menu. It's on our dinner menu as well in Colorado. You know, our, some of our restaurants are open for lunch right now. And, you know, eventually when we get Chicago back open for lunch, we'll be on the lunch menu. So, okay. it's kind of one of those mainstays that stays across because it is a great dish. You know, you got the egg on it, so of course it's a breakfast food, right? right? Of course. And then, you know, dinner, it's definitely a great one to share amongst a group of people and stuff like that. Everybody gets a couple bites, and then, you know, you can kind of experience everything on the menu. Our, you know, our goal is 
we kind of designed the menu to where everybody could come in and taste a little bit of everything. You could have a different experience every time you come in, eat all the Asian inspired dishes or the Latin inspired oh, like dishes. That. Like, uh. gives you a little bit of like, you know, a different feel every time you come in. And you mentioned Valentine's Day. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? So we have a couple of specials that are gonna be running on Valentine's Day, but obviously we have that brunch starting the weekend before. And yeah. then, um, you know, just our normal, you know, great menu, shareable. I love, I love the space. The space it's looks, so cool. I love the tall ceilings, Gorgeous. the windows. Like, it's right just over the river, you know, yeah. you know great view, so. All right, Fantastic. what's your beverage uh, little situation looking like? Oh, beverage situation is great. <laughs> we have a great, <laughs> our director of beverage does a fantastic job with our wine list. Our cocktails change all the time. Okay. So we lean into, you know, seasonal changes with our cocktails. Always very boozy, you know. The kind of brunch we like to have. Exactly. Of course, a little yeah. boozy brunch. We, we, yeah, Bloody Mary, we, 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 we got a little bit of a reputation around that. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. boozy brunch yeah. meal right there. This one would go great with a glass of champagne. Yeah. Oh, Fantastic. Right. Thanks All so right, much for Michael, being here. Thanks Absolutely. so much for being here. Here's the information for the Kitchen American Bistro there on Clark Street, as he mentioned, right there over the river. Uh, you can find them on their social media handles and their website, thekitchenbistros.com. That smells so good. All right. Mm -hmm.